thanks for checking out our channel today. What we're going to be looking at is a 2018 Chevy Tahoe command vehicle that we built for the Avondale Fire Company in Avondale, Pennsylvania. The vehicle has sound off signals, blueprint, 3.0 electrical system. Now uh, we have a lot of features built into this vehicle based off of the photo sensor in the light bar, park kill, uh, whether the parking brake's on. We're going to try and show you a little bit of the features that this vehicle has today. Right now the vehicle is going to be shown in park. The light bar on the vehicle is a sound off signal 54 inch Gen force light bar in dual color combination. In the grill, we have sound off signal 4 inch M powers in dual color. <clears throat> Below, we have sound off signals fog light kit with sound off signal N forces in it. These are in a white only. They come on with the headlights being on and they are off now currently from flashing because the vehicle is in park. The lights on the side bumper are 4 inch M power stud mounts. Underneath the mirror, we have sound off signal intersectors in white also. These are off because we are in park mode. On the running board, we have sound off signal 4 inch M powers. These are in a dual and tricolor. These go white. When you open the door partially, so if you see that the warning lights are active right now, only the two come on. When the warning lights are off, the other lights come on, also white. On all of the doors, we've installed sound off signal fusion lights. These only come on when the door is open and the warning lights are active. Take a look at the custom graphics that we've installed on this vehicle. We took care of all these graphics in-house. bumper side we have a custom wall auto eject wired to the battery charger and we've installed the battery charger indicator behind the rear glass here it's a little hard to see we've added some additional window tint to the vehicle on the back of the vehicle we have sound off signals chimsel bracket with eight sound off signal m powers in the tail lights, we have the sound of signal hideaways in dual color. They are in a amber white configuration. And on the rear lower bumper, we have sound of signal four inch M powers in dual color. And we can come over to a little bit better view of the back, and you can see. Now on the rear side hatch lips, we have sound off signal three inch M powers. These have a these have the green override feature. <clears throat> on the hatch we've installed Technique dual color red white combo lights and we've installed the radio speakers into the rear hatch with our custom brackets. Taking a look at the cabin that we designed for this customer. We've done up top, we've got a remote mic, we've got two radio heads, kill switches, some USB and 12 volts. And then we've added an additional control panel to the rear of this vehicle. This is their SCBA gear pullout that has our magnetic whiteboard drawer face to it. And then what we've done with this vehicle is we've given them 12 volt power to the panel so that they can install any other electronics to it. And this is features Accuride 600 pound drawer sides that lock in and lock out. The command board in this vehicle is magnetic dry erase also. We've got a pen storage area at the front. Ratcheting lift up mechanism for this. And then taking a look at the back, the customer requested some additional supports to block off anything from getting into the ratchet mechanism. We've installed on this drawer face, which is a little indicator to let everybody know that the AED is inside. And they've got some nice storage there. In this storage compartment, we have our adjustable track system with some adjustable dividers. These are just every one inch. We have a keyed locking storage compartment.
and then we have another and we have another sundry drawer for more storage of equipment okay so what we're going to demonstrate now is we've activated the cruise mode of the vehicle so you can see all the hatch lights have turned green the light bar corners have green in them and the running board lights also have green taking a look at the back area of the cabinet we have a large storage area for additional extinguishers and underneath we've given them a spot for their radio chassis along with their modem we have their electrical distribution panel laid out underneath the seat for easy accessibility we have our custom design center console for this vehicle we've got their two radios two storage pockets 12 volt usb we've got factory gm plug reintegrated along with another switch for the phoenix controller for the power pole siren and then we've installed their portable chargers in the back we've got a pair of adjustable armrests a hint computer mount and then we've got the locking storage box for the front of the car and then we have the port on the side of the console for the remote mic for the overhead radio which is up here and this is our replacement factory overhead console we have the remote head radio installed along with the sound off signal blueprint controller and we've reintegrated all of these factory options such as the door jar, the dome light, and the small indicator light back into it. And then we've installed their radio speakers into the headliner with our custom brackets.